Okay, so this is Raspbian XP Professional uh, by PyLab on YouTube. And if you check his channel, you can download the image of this uh, and it comes exactly as this is. So I haven't done anything really to it to change things. So this is as it comes stock. Uh, if you click on the start bar, you can see that everything is now XP, or I've moved that. It defaults down to about here. Uh, you can play around with that. Uh, but you can see that all the icons and everything, uh, one of the best looking operating systems of all time, XP. Uh, it really, I can't remember if, was this here originally? I don't know if this is a, a newer version of the XP uh, background, but I think, I think that bit wasn't there. Uh, but it looks great. Uh, I really like it, really like the clouds and the field, really like all the icons, it, it, it's super snappy as well. Uh, it comes overclocked to two gig, I've overclocked it to 2147 because my Pi copes with 2147 fine. If I go down, you can see, uh, so say for instance accessories, uh, Belena Etcher is installed so you can flash your SD cards there. Uh, manage drives and media, well let's see how, how does that show up. So. 4.2 megabytes of free space, 31 gig, 22 gig free. So there's quite a lot of space on the SD card. Uh, I've installed uh, GTA into this as well uh, for PPSSPP. It was a zip file and it automatically installed the zip file into PPSSPP, which is great. So let's close that down, go back into accessories, anything else in there? Oh, he mentioned in his own video that pzip is a very good uh, archive manager. I haven't tried it. Uh, task manager, XF burn, CD and DVD burning, games. Uh, so you can see that there's various emulators here and this is where this comes in handy, dragging this up. Really, really handy. And you can also go across if you want to see. Some of these have got very long descriptions. So two DOS boxes, uh, a DS emulator, MAME Arcade Emulator, Mednaf, which is loads of different emulators in one. So if I go to Systems, you can see Atari Lynx, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, uh, PlayStation is in this, Sega Saturn is in this. So that's very nice to see. Go back to uh, Games. I like the way this stays where you left it. So Mednaf uh, N64 Emulator, PSP emulator, which I'm going to do in a minute with GTA, Redream, which is a Dreamcast emulator, which is a really good Dreamcast emulator. Uh, this does uh, various different 3D games, Residual VM, I haven't really tried that. Scum is for uh, lots of the point and click adventure games, SNES emulator, Box86, which is DOS emulator, and another Game Boy Advance emulator, so really, really impressive. Under internet, you can see that Chromium Media Edition has been installed, which means that it will play things like Netflix and Disney Plus and, and various other premium services. Uh, so multimedia, so Linamp. I remember the old Winamp on Windows, so it's appropriate that that's there. Oh, he's put all the office and the, and the icons there. Publisher icon, similar to a PowerPoint icon, uh, definitely similar to a Word icon. And then settings come. Settings almost easier to navigate than, than the ordinary ones in Raspbian, the way, the way it comes up and the way it's presented. So let's try PSP. Uh, so games, PPSSPP. So I need to mess around with the settings a bit more, but PPSSPP runs pretty well. So I've run it in a window. Uh, you can run it full screen and you can play around with the settings. PPSSPP has some really good settings on it. But uh, but yeah, this feels feels actually really nice. Let's just grab a motorbike. I know which buttons are which. Oh, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have punched him. But PSP is, is really well emulated. Uh, and you can, as I say, you can play around with the settings. I've got some other videos of PSP, uh, and it does run, run particularly well. Oh, there's a, there's probably a mission there, isn't there? Now you look around. Okay, it 
feels great. It really does. And I like, while I play it on a, I'm on a 43 inch TV and I'm sat really close when I do my videos. So actually the size of the screen, considering the PSP is a tiny little screen, uh, it actually looks really good on this. So it's a nice, oh. I quit out, I've got to try that jump. Oh, not that way then. Go up high on the berm. Oh no, too high. <laughs> okay, so, oh, I'm, and I'm swimming. I forget that you can swim in this version. Looks like I'd have to swim a lot to get out of that though. Right, so, PPSSPP and all the menus, all the game settings, you can see that you can play around with that and get it to run a lot quicker. So let's quit out of that. And you can also save the state as well. So you can save and pick up exactly where you are in your game. So if I hit load state, uh, this is one that PyLab had had. Double take it sky. Quick, get his bike quick, quick game. Don't be a I'm a soldier. Oh, <laughs> I do so. Right, so let's quit out of that. Uh, exit the menu. Lovely fast menus, let's go back into here and just show you a few other things. I've done all of that. Let's show uh, folders. All the file management looks really nice and works really well. And this is all resizable so you can see exactly what you've got in your different files. You can see my ISO file there. If I go to the uh, media center, oh I like the fact the terminal's in here as well. So file manager and terminal is in this part. It defaults, it does look better when it's down here. Uh, it defaults down here, but also we can do a search. So if I start typing Belena Etcher, not with a K, uh, you can see that it comes up and that works really well. So what happens if I do PSP, yeah. And let's say display. Because PipeLab mentions that you want to go for 720 on some games. Yeah, I noticed this in another video. My uh, well, I'm going through a capture device, but my screen shows up as a seven inch Samsung and it's a 43 inch Sony. But as I say, it is going through an Ava Media capture device. Uh, and so it's very easy to change your resolution there. Okay, if we go down to uh, internet, you can see that the Chromium Media Edition is installed. So that should mean that things like Netflix and Disney Plus and Amazon Prime, all of those play fine uh, within Chromium, which they don't normally on the Pi. So yeah, incredible work. I mean, this, this really is a great project and everything looks superb. I'm really impressed with this and I really enjoy these builds. So uh, thanks very much to PyLab and thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.